Much of the building materials that we use in our conventional buildings today have a high carbon footprint. Industrial hemp can be used for many applications, including textiles and construction grade building materials. We can actually build buildings that are carbon negative when using plant-based building materials. There is an incredible amount of innovation happening with this plant. The ability to process it into insulation, bioplastics, textiles, and many other applications. Building with natural materials lends itself more to a more thoughtful and reflective community. Hemp is a good alternative for traditional building because it's fire resistant, mold resistant. We're cutting utility bills up to 70%. These homes are built to last hundreds of years. It checks all the boxes for what you would want in a home. And I just feel like the more people learn about it, the more people will feel that way. We're seeing a resurgence in hempcrete, hemp products, mainly because our government is finally catching up with the needs and wants of the people. It's a crop that grows quickly, and there's a need for farming, and need for housing, and healthy homes. So I think it just incorporates everything to do with community and supporting our environment at the same time. Education is a great part of the whole hemp world now. The more we educate the general public, the legislators, the better off we're getting. The needle is moving in this great emerging market. The more we have these conversations now on some of these trailblazing things that's going on, the better we're going to be. We're talking about different methods of how we could build, cast in place, blocks. We try to provide the education to be able to show people where we can get this stuff from, how it works, so people can get a better understanding and realize that hemp is a living, breathing material. It was a wonderful experience to speak with people about the excitement and the innovation that's happening with hempcrete as well as so many other building materials. Charleston has like, got the highest gentrification rate in the country and North Charleston where Fresh Future Farm located has the highest eviction rate in the country. Here we have an industry of farming that can build the next generation of technology, housing, safety and security that don't exist already. Our federal government has just invested over $3.5 billion out of the Commodity Credit Corporation Fund to support climate smart agriculture. This multidisciplinary approach to preserving the black agricultural land base, we carry that with this hempcrete workshop. This is bigger than learning how to build a house or making a little personal project on your land. There are many, many, many more people involved and working in the hempcrete construction industry that I could have imagined. I would love to be able to use the skills that I'm learning to do affordable housing as new builds and tend to the older stock of housing that already exists. This really kind of spoke to bigger questions and more comprehensive solutions about our planet, our communities, justice. So it was a very rich experience for me. The ideas that are coming from those who have come from so far is just an alignment for any of us who've had this experience. One person said, ah, we are a tribe and we get to be here and find the support of others when you're using something that is coming from the earth, you are empowering. It has been much richer than I imagined.